around the globe there is a challenge of food security so for today i want to show you the cheapest ways that you can employ in your home at your farm and we see how we can create food security in the globe around the globe uh, christina the principal farmer i'm also the real life coach because without food there is no life so we are here to see what we can do. No wasting time. Number one, what you're going to do, and we are starting right away today, what you're going to do to create food security in the community, in your home, because whenever there is food and more of a balanced diet, the carbohydrates, the fibers, the vitamins, everybody is going to be very fine. So what are we going to do? We are going to start small. That is number one. Start small. Where I'm standing is my kitchen garden. All over here, you can see I have vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. When you look at this one here, it has produced and it is yielding very well. We are giving it a lot of water. We have been with some rain in between there, though it disappeared, but we are watering and it's growing very well. So I started small by putting this. But right now, even the comments around can come to me and they are like, I need something small, I need something small. So they can give me some little money out of this. So start small. It is helping my family. It is helping the community around. So start small. I started this kitchen garden. It is really indeed it's very small, but it is helping me. When you look at this side, I have collards. Everything is small, beautifully and wonderfully maintained by the grace of God because he waters it once in a while, while we also try to do our own watering. So these are collards right here um, the other side i have onions everything is small i'm telling you start small and from that small humble beginning you're going to grow into a bigger farm but start small start today we are working on how we can create food security in the area in the region around in the at the globe level the globe around we can have food but how are we going to do it? Number one, I said, start small. As I'm showing you, everything is small, but it is beautifully and wonderfully maintained. We give it all that it needs to be very fine. Number two, what you're going to do to create this food security? Crop selection. What are you going to plant? Um, start with those crops which are going to give you returns quickly. I made a video of crops that can give you returns quickly. There are around seven of them. I had uh, these vegetables. I had some pumpkins in them. I had ground nuts, the nuts. So there are a lot of things in that video. So the crops you're going to plant, they are also going to help you to manage this problem of food security in a cheapest way possible. Actually, whenever Christine comes around, she has the cheapest, the easiest, the quickest and best methods anybody can use farm and have food on the table subscribe to my channel if you haven't number three is your soil health um the soils where we are farming from in these semi-arid areas they are more of sandy soils but what do we do we always support our soils with uh, a lot of um, composite like as you can see here on my banana I'm trying to wait if the rain comes very fast, we shall add some, uh, some water. Some water will run through these things. If not, we shall add our water manually. Then we see how we can compose these things. They make very good composite for our bananas to continue growing. So support your soil to give you the best always as you're farming. Farming sometimes here can be very hard and some people tend to give up. That's why we always have characteristics like... Uh, famine, poverty, hunger, malnutrition, but all these things can be worked on. That's why I insist you subscribe to my channel. You will not live the same way you've met me. The next, what are we going to do? Is crop rotation. Crop rotation is always, um, if you have planted some beans here in this plot, the next time you put something else, maybe maize. As you can see also, this side I've done... Um, intercropping into my garden this is part of me also i've done intercropping there is some maize this is maize here and when you look at this side there are some beans these ones here so all these things of intercropping crops they can help us 
to fight this problem of hunger in the community. So intercropping of things can help. When you look at this side, I've intercropped my bananas with apples. This is an apple tree here. And it's growing very well. I'm giving it a lot of manure, a lot of um, composite. It's really growing very well. It's an apple tree. So we need to do a lot of things. Intercropping is one of the ways we can um, always fight this problem of food insecurity in our communities. The next, farming information. Where do you get the information you need that to, can help you to farm effectively? There are agro vet shops, there are agriculturists in the community. Also, on my channel, if you have subscribed, I'm always there to give the cheapest, the easiest, the quickest and best methods anybody can use and farm and have food on the table. So always seek for information of how can I do this successfully? How can I do the other successfully? So also struggle to get as much information as you can. That is point number four. Point number five, point number five. I told you I always save the best for the last bit of my videos. I want to thank you, my viewers. Number five, it's from my Bible here. Actually today, this is my son's Bible. Uh, it is in Psalm 24. Psalm 24. What is it saying? Psalm 24 verse 1. It is saying, Psalm 24 verse 1, that the world and all that is in it belongs to the Lord. The earth and all who live in it are his. So, as you're doing your farming, always pray to God because he's the only one who can give you the rain and the sunshine in a balanced way. A farmer who is out there, you know very well that these two things which God never delegated to anybody to handle, they are very important for every farmer. You need the sunshine, you need the rain to move on. These two things, you need them. So always as you're doing your farming, consult God, tell God to provide you these two things and you're going to do your farming successfully. Thank you for viewing. Subscribe if you haven't. And may the good Lord bless you all. Till we meet again, see you.